the Trader Gazelle from Van Life Philippines. So my rebuild is finally over guys. I did it in three days. Yes. Did you really think I'm your typical Filipina girl? Huh? Did you think I have those high-end tools? Nah. I have this. A saw and a hammer. Yes. And lots of patience, of course. And creativity. Uh, I'm just playing with my intro, guys. So, um, it has been six months since I started this uh, this van living culture, and I'm kind of loving it. And I kind of know what uh, what are what are the style that suits me well, or the setup, preferably the setup that suits me well, uh, based on my needs and preference. So. Um, I decided to make my rebuild uh, since uh, because I wanted to to travel comfortably, <laughs> sleep comfortably. I wanted it to be more spacious, especially when I get into the van. Um, it was the bed? I wanted to adjust the height. So uh, this is my uh, here's my compilation of my three day build. Uh, enjoy, guys. Oh wait. Um, if you're still thinking about it, I say go for the van life dream, guys. Um, go for it. Kaya mo yan. Go. Today, I decided to do a reno on the van. So, uh, I wanted to have um, a, a fixed office or something where I can edit my video. I want to sit comfortably while doing my edits. That's it. And my bed was before was too high. I will make a lower, lower bed. So, this is, uh, this is what I have at the moment. Um, that... Uh, that... Uh, I wanted to um, I removed the storage boxes in this side taller people like my cousins before um, it, when we went to Manikan or we went yeah uh, it was they were having a hard time because they were they were tall <laughs> uh, so I removed that so I could have space for them whenever they want to join me and then uh, I decided to put the sink on that side put the sink on this side because it's easier yeah putting the sink on this side is easier for me to access my water system since this is a double door double sliding door so on this side it's easier for me to access my water and uh, if I'm outside and I wanted to wash my hands and or if I wanted to cook something Hi. Uh, maybe I can add a an extendable kitchen here or I don't know I'm I'm, I'm still the reno is still ongoing uh, and the bed will be here uh, it will extend to the front uh, I will add additional sitting in the front also also so uh, that's it that's it for now first we have to make uh, three sets of this to make a bed uh, we have to make three sets of this like that. So the, the height is depending on your preference.
guys, it's day three of our build, and we're gonna do some sanding and some painting. So this is the, but this is the sink, uh, sink slash uh, office space, cooktop there. So uh, by the way, um, uh, I, the reason why I started this Reno because. Uh, my friend gave me, I mean, when my, my friend gave me this, uh, this, uh, use, uh, what, I, this shelves, use, she has some used shelves, uh, that she just junked in the garage, so she gave it to me, I decided to make use of it. Also, uh, I was able to get a discount for the wood, um, I spent just about thousand, uh, no, just one thousand pesos, exactly one thousand pesos for, uh, the woodworks. So, and it's pulido. So, the bed is so pulido. Oh, by the way, this is the bed. Yeah. And, yeah, this is the bed. Like that. My daughter's doing the pink job. It's a finish. Because I have to go to work. Uh, this is what we're doing for the the ceiling, my balig ceiling. Um, since I didn't remove the carpet for uh, to to add warmth to the van when when I'm somewhere really cold, it adds warmth to the van. So I mean, when I'm inside the van, so I don't I don't want to remove it and add it as a a banig to, to add to my design now this is what i'm doing i added a velcro i just need to attach a velcro so this will stick in the carpet so uh, this hole here this is for the light <laughs> it's not too nice but anyway i can work it out so this is this is gonna stick out to the carpet car carpet okay so let's talk about my sink setup it's a good thing about uh, this van because it's double sliding door it's advan an advantage for me this is my cute sink this thing uh, this pump manual pump that I got um, from Shopee I got this from Shopee for uh, Shopee Philippines for only uh, 239 pesos. Let's see, uh, this, this one. And then this hose right here, uh, I got this for uh, 15 pesos per meter. And then I just add a tape here. And then this is now my clean water. My clean water and then here my kids this one since I don't have tools okay since I don't have the proper tools so uh, how do you think I I made a hole in that I use a nail yeah I use a nail and lots of patience um, and then I added a, I, I made a hole and then fit this thing uh, this sink uh, what's this I got this for 95 pesos at uh, this um, Unitop. If you have a Unitop, I mean, I, th I think Unitop is everywhere, <laughs> all over the Philippines. And then that's straight to my gray water tank. And then this thing here, it's not fully, you can see it's not, it's, it's not perfect. None of my tying tools, but again, we have all the um, all the positivity in the world I guess um, I just use a flat screw if that's what you call it you screw now flat so I, I I I did it really slowly and yung dapat sakto talaga siya para it would I mean dapat sakto lang siya so it would fit this what's this sink the cute sink it's a basin actually it's a this is a basin that we no longer use at home and then here this is my secret this is my this is just a biscuit 
uh, pail or biscuit container that I uh, this is just a biscuit container that I added and then I added uh, this chamber pot there I added a chamber pot there I added this so I could sit comfortably and then cover okay so that's basically the uh, my toilet option for now <laughs> Hopefully we can uh, we can get the uh, we can get or we can buy uh, yung mas mas proper pa camper ano talaga yung camper toilet. But for now it's 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 we're fine with that. Um, on extreme cases, like if we wanted to use the number two, <laughs> you know, if we wanted to use the number two, uh, we just use the black bag and then tie it. And then dispose it uh, once we get to the the uh, once we get to a comfort room or a toilet, a proper toilet. So that's it. That's my sink setup.